my dear students today we are going to learn the second chapter of history as in the previous chapter what information we have collected what are the sources of history so as earlier when we started the history i already narrated what kind of the lessons are being included in the in our textbook that is the, in this textbook you are not going to find the history of ancient medieval or modern period as earlier you read in the 7th or 8th standard here we are going to learn the history of our own country and the period which is included in this book is 1960 to 2000 the name of the second chapter is events after 1960 at the name itself reflects what were the event took place after 1960 so here we are going to collect which were the events took place in the 1960 70 80 90 and 2000 let's see as we all know india became independent in 1947 and accepted its constitutional framework in 1950 and became a sovereign democratic country as already we know the indian society is multicultural and people of various languages religions ethnicities and castes live together I, uh, before starting the events which took place in 1960 i would like to narrate the brief introduction the in at the initial stage of our country when we got the independence we were lack of we faced many problems such as many challenges were in front of us such as unemployment poverty and all this or you can say different issues that is related to economic political and so shall tell up me the asta uh, to bring the uh, successful or you to eliminate all these problem or to tackle all these uh, problems we set up one planning commission in 1952 at present this planning commission is known as a niti ayog a uh, modi renamed as a niti ayog so every 5 years this niti ayog or planning commission they frame the policies related to achieve what we have to achieve in the future children okay so now coming to the points that is first point what happened in the 1960 so first one in the decades of the 1960 several events occurred which had a huge impact on the political situation in india next point is coming that is goa dew and daman were freed from portuguese rule and became parts of indian federation well, as we know in 1960 we uh, got the, the uh, goa dew damat in our hand and which were under the portuguese rule so federation what is the meaning of federation the country which is a combination of states and union territory third third point that is the tension between india and china on the northern border which had been rising since 1950 culminated in the war in the war of 1962 between two countries this war was fought in the region of macmohan line macmohan is a line that is b- beyond the arunachal pradesh so this line was set up when we were ruled mac why it is called macmohan line macmohan is a name of the person and he uh, drafted the map of india so because of that line is called macmohan line so as we know our first prime minister who was our first prime minister as shown in the picture pandit jawahar lal nehru as pandit jawahar lal nehru was the architect of india's foreign policy then he passed away 
in 1964 and after he who became the pr prime minister of our country lal badu shastri so during his tenure also many problems many issues were there let's discuss that issues so what were the that issues during his tenure india and pakistan went to war over the kashmir issue in 1965 next one is coming that is lal bahadur shastri gave the slogan jai jawan jai kisan why he has given that slogan children that is with which he highlighted the importance of indian society and indian farmers lal bahadur shastri breathed his last at tashkent in 1966 now let me explain why he had given see on the one side we were fighting with the pakistan and other side we were having the shortage of food at that time famine occurred to boost the energy of farmer and and the soldiers he gave the slogan la jai jawan jai kisan because both were play both these both soldiers and farmers are playing important role in our line in our life and he also said at that time he urged the people and he asked the cooperation of the people please leave one time food and because of because on his clarion call all the people of the, our country they stop to eat one time food that is the after lal bahadur shastri indira gandhi became the prime minister of our country so indira gandhi became the prime minister in 1966 you can see during a tenure pakistan's oppressive policies in east pakistan resulted in big movement east pakistan is now bangladesh what were the problems over there this east pakistan belongs to bengali muslims and the pakistan wanted to speak uh, they were forcing these people to speak urdu but these people were not ready and because of that the tension grew between the west pakistan and the east pakistan and this affected our country also as the tension was going on so many of the people were coming to india because east pakistan was sharing the border of our country assam and bangladesh and this created a strain on our resources on our resources and you can say may culminate into the terrorist activity also so keeping this thing in a mind uh, uh this was the challenge in front of the indira gandhi so this movement was led by sheik muzabir rahman and his organization mukti bahini that is in a east pakistan and this crisis in east pakistan affected india as well because millions of refugees came to india as earlier i said millions of refugees means what they were coming through the east pakistan stand to bengal uh, ben, uh, bengal uh, our west bengal present west bengal and assam and these prop these tensions grew among our country next we are moving to the next era that is 1970s so what will happen in the 1970s as we know see this 1917 one war india and pakistan led to the creation of independent country that is called bangladesh so in 1970 after 1970 what happened children that is in a uh, new uh, country was formed from pakistan that is bangladesh as a part of india's policy to use atomic energy for peaceful process now we started to move on the scientific research when we uh, this war was ended see india successfully carried out an underground test on uh, of an atomic devices that is in pokhran in 1974 in 1974 as you can see in the picture underground this is so now 
that is india's first nuclear test in 1974 so another event happened in 1975 the people of sikkim voted for joining the indian republic and next is sikkim became the full fledged state or in the indian federation so these were the things happened in 1970 and others we are going to learn in the next session of a uh, history so till that i think you must you might have understood the lesson please go through the lesson along with this ppt so till that bye my children